As humans, we can actually hear in two primary ways. So I purchased this special lollipop to show you how bone conduction allows us to hear through our jaw bones and our teeth. Yes, I just wanted to show my grills. This sucker is blueberry flavored and it plays rock music. This one is strawberry flavored and this one is cool because you can actually record your own voice message inside of that sucker. Sucker. But nevertheless, the technology and both work the same. Now when you open a pack, this is what you're gonna find inside. It's actually heavier on one side than it is on the other just because because all of the technology is located in the bottom end inside of this little bubble loop float or whatever you call it. In the box you'll find earplugs and an instruction manual that we're not gonna read. Now these earplugs are super important because like I said before, there's two primary ways that we hear. The typical way is via sound conduction where pressure waves travel through air into the eardrum, then the eardrum translates that into vibration. From the eardrum, the vibrations go through three small bones in the inner ear that amplifies the sound. Before reaching the cochlea, the co cochlea translates the vibrations into electrical signals that your brain can understand as sound. You know how cock gets to your brain. But the thing that's special about this lollipop is that the sound that's coming out of here is already in vibration. So it don't have to go through the eardrum. It don't have to suck no cock. This is how you probably put in earplugs. I learned this working in a plant. So squeeze these down, put that in your ear. With these, we need to restrict some of our brain's ability to hear sound through sound conduction and only give it the ability to hear sound through bone conduction. We are about to see if it's possible to hear through our bones. Oh, sh I felt the vibration. I ain't hear what it said though. Whoa! So, 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 I'm holding it in my hand, right? I could kind of feel the vibration, but when I put it to the roof of my mouth, I can literally hear every word in the song, bro. And when I take these out, the volume of the sound actually reduces because there's an interference with sound conduction and bone conduction. I ain't gonna lie though, this sucker tastes good. Yeah, I probably don't need to eat no more of this sucker because the thing is, the music is good and the sucker tastes good. Okay, this, I feel like y'all, this is a 10 out of 10. Everybody would love this experience if you do this with your kids or if you do it with yourself if you are just still a kid because everybody's still trying to figure out what they're gonna be when they grow up. I know I am. Beethoven actually used the method of bone conduction to be able to hear music. He was already deaf so he didn't have to close his ears because God did him. He would take a piece of wood and he would put it on the roof of his mouth and connect it to the keyboard thingamajiggy some type of way and that's how he was able to hear the vibrations of the music and still be able to play music. But the only limitation with bone conduction is that it only works best with low frequencies. Yeah. But this hard. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie bro. That's this hard. I feel like honestly I could invent something. Humans really aren't that smart. If you understand the human body, you understand everything about everything else. If you look at adventures today, everything was invented based on how the human body functions. The blueprint was already given to us. Jay-Z. <laughs>